Yo, what is up guys, Carnage50 here, and today the gameplay you guys are going to see in the background is a solo double moab on the map outpost using the scar. And what I'm going to be talking about today is actually the Blackbird or the VSAT returning BO3 possibly. Um, I've been seeing a lot of speculation about the Blackbird returning in BO3, and I feel like it most like likely will because it's a Treyarch game, and I already know Treyarch likes the, uh, putting the Blackbird in their game because their last two games they put the Blackbird, and it's a fan favorite kill streak. A lot of people love the kill streak. I I love it too, but um, I feel like in Black Ops 2, there's a lot of problems with it. In Black Ops 1, I think it was perfect. Uh, in Black Ops 1, it was pretty much perfect because in that game, um, the game is generally harder than Black Ops 2. In my opinion, Black Ops 1 is the hardest COD out of all the CODs. And also, you can't get the Blackbird multiple times in a single life. So after you go on an 8 kill streak and get your Blackbird, you can't get another one in the same life. You have to die in order to get another one. And I feel like that balanced it a lot. But in Black Ops 2, I feel like it was really, really overpowered. Because in that game, if you get a full set of streaks in a life and you don't die and then you... Um, let's say you go on like a thousand score streak, you get your VSAT, and then, um, you get another thousand score streak in the same life, you get another VSAT, so there's two VSATs in one life. I feel like that kind of ruined the VSAT, or not ruined it, but made it a bit too overpowered in that game. Because, like, well, once you get a VSAT, it's basically game over for the other team, like, they can't really do much, because, um, you can see every single person on the other team, even if they have ghosts for, like, 45 seconds straight, and you can see, like, which direction they're moving in, and, and like, once you get your first VSAT, and Black Ops 2, like, it's just so easy, because you have, you just have a complete advantage over everyone on the other team, and it makes it really easy to get another VSAT after your first VSAT, so basically in that game, it's just, like, infinite VSATs after you get your first one, and it's very overpowered because of that, and, like, I feel like it just changes the game way too much in that game, because, like, once you get your first VSAT, like, like I said already, it's game over for the other team. They can't do anything about it. And another thing that really annoys me about the Visa in Black Ops 2 is that a lot of times I would run into a, like, a, a few, like, tryhards, like, in a small party, like, in Ground War or something. Like, I'll be playing Ground War, and, um, I'm playing solo, and then, like, on the other team, there's, like, a party of, like, three or four tryhards. And I'm going ham, and I'm just getting a bunch of kills, and then, like, one of the enemies get lucky, and then just, like, get a visa against like the randoms on my team or they just camp for a visa and I, that happens a lot honestly when I play tryhard because honestly a lot of the time when uh, people play black ops 2 they're just gonna like camp for the first visa and then after that they just go like rushing like really hard and then just go ham and it really annoys me because it just like slows down the pace of the game for like the first like minute or two because people are just either camping for a VSAT or they'll just get a VSAT against like my teammates and also like it's really annoying because like when people are in like a small party of like three or four even sometimes like two like it once you get one visa it's basically infinite vsats like it you'll never run all vsats especially in like multi-team like i remember multi-team black ops 2 like if you ever play in like a three-man party you're gonna have infinite vsats the whole entire game like every game it like multi-team was so easy in that game because like you could just farm the hard points so easily because there's two other teams instead of only one team and also like you had three other team or two other teammates that would just go ham in the spawns and just get vsats themselves and it was really really dumb because like it just made the game like too easy in my opinion like I know COD is supposed to be like a casual game and it's like easy and all but I feel like it made it way too easy because in Black Ops 2 anyone can do good because the VSAT it's just so overpowered and it's so easy to get multiple VSATs in one life because once you get one VSAT you could just play smart super smart because you're gonna know where everyone is and then you can just get another VSAT and then another VSAT and so on and you're just gonna have infinite VSATs like the whole game and in my opinion Black Ops 2 is probably the easiest COD in the whole series and I feel like the main reason for that is that it's so easy to get V sets in the game since you can get it multiple times in a single life and it's a lot easier too when you're playing like with friends or something that are that's also running V sets and it just makes the skill gap very very minimal because in Black Ops 2 it's such an easy game and the V set just makes it even more easier and it's just stupid how like anyone can get a gameplay in that game just because the V set I feel like if the V set wasn't in that game or at least if it was like nerfed somehow it would be a lot better because then not as many people will be getting gameplays. Because the problem with Black Ops, one of the main problems with Black Ops 2 on YouTube at least for me is that like everyone gets a gameplay in it. Like 
that standards are just so ridiculous in that game. Like, like in full parties, people can get like 400 plus kill games and like quad nuclears, and it's just retarded. Like, there's even people like um the sniper Carnage sniper. Like, he gets like solo quad nuclears, and like he he's a great player and all, but like it's just ridiculous how you can do that. Like, that's insane. Like, no no COD except for Advanced Warfare has standards even close to that. Like every other COD, like I don't even think there is a solo quad in any other game except for Black Ops 2 and Advanced Warfare. But like Advanced Warfare, that's like people with reverse boost and stuff. But like Black Ops 2, it's like not even reverse boost. Is the game's just that easy because the Visa and it's just ridiculous too. Because like I see some of these people upload like single mobs or like single like three minute nukes or something, and then they upload like Black Ops 2 gameplays that are like triple nuclears or like 200 pluses, solo 200 pluses and stuff. And it's really dumb. And I feel like the two best ways they can fix this problem is they should make it harder to get. So like instead of like a thousand score streak, they can make it and maybe like I don't know 1300, 1500, somewhere around there. Not too high, but not too low. Cause I feel like a thousand is kind of low. Cause um, let's say if you're like farming hard points, it's really easy. It could be like um, you could get a visa at like 20 seconds in the game, or like if you're just like manipulating flags, like you're hopping on and hopping off. If you're like capture kills, you, all you have to do is get like five kills. And they should also make it so that it doesn't appear on your teammates' radar unless you put like a um add-on, like a score streak upgrade, kind of like how yeah, there's upgrades for score streaks in Advanced Warfare. I feel like there should be an upgrade for that where it makes it so that it's on your teammates' radar, but like the stock VSAT, it's um it's only on your radar. I feel like that would balance it out a lot and make the game a bit harder. And that's basically all I want to talk about for today, and I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like, and also subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, so you guys don't miss out on any single one of my videos. And that is all guys, so peace out.